All right, 14 December 2023, Bitcoin moving back up to 42,729, up 1,800 in the past uh, uh, day, right? Anyway, let's get into some news right here real quick, short and sweet and to the point. All right, let's go. Boom. They're saying Bitcoin is rising because the Fed had held interest rates steady. I just don't know why the interest rates will be tied to Bitcoin up and down. I don't know. I think they're just hoping that there is some correlation. I did not see it. I don't know. Whatever. Never believe the news. Doubt, but verify, right? So all this stuff, I'm really doubt it, but go verify it on your own eyes, your own research. All right. Bitcoin erases the week's losses as FASB guidance set to beef up adoption. All the puzzle pieces are being put in place for the ETF adoption for BlackRock, Fidelity, Vanguard, whatever, in uh, the first quarter of 2024. Anyway, Bitcoin paired some recent losses in Wednesday mid-afternoon trading as the U.S. Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB, baby. I didn't know there was such a thing. I guess you can get a job anywhere, right? They have confirmed new crypto accounting rules for businesses. All right, good enough. Yay. Oh, my God. But it's important. I get it. You got to understand what's going on in the infrastructure in these, uh, in these financial worlds. All right, let's see the oldest and biggest token. Of course, Bitcoin went up 3.7, reverse its losses. Uh, there is still some near-term resistance in the way, of course, when uh, with BTC reaching as high as 44.6 in the previous week. It's still up, folks. My God, it's up from 26,000. They always find something to bitch about. It's like it's up from 26,000 in like a month and a half. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Earlier on Wednesday, the FAS, FASB published fresh accounting rules that will allow companies that hold Bitcoin or Ethereum to record its gains and losses immediately and classify crypto assets as financial assets. That in turn dismisses uncertainty over how much their holdings are actually worth. Okay, they're trying to normalize it and make it easy for financial reporting in these uh in these uh, financial firms, right? Companies that hold Bitcoin, it's, it's getting there. All right, they're, they're trying to tame the beast a little bit. Michael Saylor, founder and the former CEO of business software maker and Bitcoin's hodler, uh, MicroStrategy, he buys a lot of Bitcoin, this guy. He's gonna be, he's gonna be wealthier than uh, Musk when Bitcoin goes to the moon. He said the FA, FASB guidance will make it easier for companies to adopt Bitcoin. That's what they're doing. They're, they're paving the way to make this easier for the conventional financial institutions and Billy Bob and his money to roll in and buy some uh, Bitcoin and put it in their portfolio and, um, you know, get a piece of this pie. That's, that's basically what's going on. They're making it easier, streamlining it. All right, FASB has officially adopted fair uh, value accounting for Bitcoin for fiscal years beginning after December 15, 2024. Uh, who cares? All right, perhaps uh, another driver of Bitcoin's intraday upswing, the Federal Reserve. Da, da, da. Uh, yes, see, uh, what are they saying? They left borrowing costs unchanged. All right, as expected for a third straight meeting, though additional firming is still on the table. At the same time, Fed members indicated they expect more rate cuts next year. Yeah, I expect. Why do you even say that? Don't you're you're pretty much influencing. I don't know, it's hopium. If you're gonna do it, do it. Don't just say, "Oh, in 18 years we're gonna lower rates." Eh, it's all BS, man. All right. Then they had uh, foreseen. All right, they're gonna lower it more than they had foreseen in September, according to the so-called dot plots. I have no idea what that means. Uh, that sent uh, the stock market higher and Treasury yields lower. All right, blah, 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 Bitcoin's up, all this stuff. These are all the digital. All right. Anyway, good news. Bitcoin's going back up and FASB is involved. They're going to approve ETFs, hopefully, in the first quarter of next year. Uh, more mass adoption of Bitcoin. It's amazing how it did bounce back to 42.7. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you guys doing? You buying it? You holding it? You selling it? You just staring clear of it? Uh, is the financial market going to collapse? Who knows? It is an election year. I don't see them collapsing it because... You know, they need to make things look good for uh, for the people in power, right? They can't go uh, messing with the economy. All right, that's all I got. Little news article. I don't know, looking good to me, right? But what do I know? All right, I'm out. <laughs> Take care.